The blue van is in the driveway where it always is. That's its spot. The driveway is an old-fashioned pavement, the kind with actual rocks in it. Little rounded rocks, some black, but mostly gray or beige or white. I am sitting on the driveway next to the blue van. And there's one little rock I really like. I pick at it with my fingernail, delicately but firm, and it finally comes loose, leaving a tiny crater in its place. I kind of love this rock. It's sort of blue, makes me think of the word slate, and it has a couple of very thin white veins running through it. About the size of a pretty big pea, but not so perfectly round. My stepdad would kill me if he knew I picked it out of the driveway cement. There's one place on the edge of the driveway with no pavement left at all. It crumbled away in a kind of Ohio-shaped patch of gravel and dirt. This driveway is stupid, like the house and the whole situation in my life living here. I would never lie on this driveway to soak in its warmth on a cooling summer evening. Not like I would at Grandpa's. Our driveway there was asphalt and smooth, made by Grandpa. I want to go back. I like the feel of this kind of dirt, gravel dirt, the kind under an old cement driveway crumbling away. It's light gray, sandy feeling, but softer. It doesn't stick to your skin like regular dirt. It's old and soft like my grandma's hands. I'll stay out here until I have to go in for dinner, I guess. I don't want to be around him. You'd think he would feel the same way since he hates me so much, but it's like he enjoys the chances to be mean to me. In a few years, my grandma will try to get them to let me come live with her, get me out of here, and he will say no. Reason being, he feels like that would be me getting away with something, getting off the hook. He believes I am evil and have everyone fooled, so me being happy is kind of an injustice in his eyes, which sucks, as you might imagine. What would happen to a kid who had to live like this from age eight on, for years, under a roof with a grown-up who thought he alone saw through her, saw what a bad person she was. I wish I couldn't tell you. She gives up inside, finally, on one level after another, in ways both developmental and core, invisible to her child's mind, in which she will work to excavate for for decades. Her intellect goes to waste because it's impossible to focus on personal development and academics when you are freaking out at reality every single day, when you are allowed to be hated and nobody steps in, even though they know about it. I hear the back door slam, the screen door, wood frame, and old, like the house, but I listen harder to the sound of soft, gravelly dirt, sand sifting through my fingers. I let it fall to the ground, between the edge of the driveway and the beginning of dirt where grass grows, brown dirt, moist and packed, the kind that sticks to things. Then I gently scoop up another load with the side of my hand and do it again, listening to the crumbled waterfall of ancient driveway. My head leans to one side. I can feel the last of the day's sunlight. I listen to the gravel so I don't have to know where he's going to stomp to next, the garage or me. I hope we're having porcupine meatballs for dinner.